Hello Taurus and welcome to your daily reading. So let's go ahead and have a look at today's Ruin Messages. Alright, I hope you had a great weekend Taurus. Alright, first message is... Ah, uh, I don't know what it's called in Ruin language, but we have vehicle, travel, and progress. Something is moving forward very well for you. What is the next one? I've got lots of ruins and different um, symbols according to different modalities. Ooh, you know what? I think we had this one uh, the other day, Taurus. True love and harmony. Very nice. Progress. Or travel could be a love is traveling towards you or love is moving forward very nicely or you are working on something and progressing positively forward. This is a nothing one. Okay. Let's see what else is there for you today, Taurus. Another nothing one. Okay. The nothing ones actually mean something as well. Um, and we got this one. It's really interesting. Why am I picking the same ones up? Um, because I'm pretty sure we had this one too. Water, emotion, and flow. So harmony or true love, emotional love, emotional harmony, traveling or progressing forward very nicely and positively. All right, Taurus, let me know what they mean for you. And let's go ahead and start your tarot reading and stay tuned for your lucky numbers as well as your personalized messages later on in the reading. All right, I'm going to pause now and I'll put up three tarot cards and then we'll continue on with the spread. Okay, Taurus, we have... Two pretty challenging cards. Okay, so I won't, you know, um, fluffy bunny them because they are challenging. But the best bit is the Seven of Pentacles at the end. Okay, so Five of Pentacles means hardship, difficulties, the lack of consciousness. It is a reality because it's a five. I mean, and the pentacles. Five is actually the number of the Hierophant, which is actually who we are. Taurus is a Hierophant. We're very committed. We're very stable. We're very trustworthy. And we always kind of look for the deeper meaning in things. Okay. So uh, that is a Hierophant energy, which is really what we are. But five of pentacles, it's also talking about challenging times, okay, in regards to our resources, in regards to reality, in regards to the world around us. So it's been challenging in the past. I don't know how long ago this was, six months ago, two weeks ago, three years ago, but five of pentacles is there. Ten of swords. Ten of Swords is, it, it's kind of connected to the Hierophant as well because traditionally in the Rider Waite, um, the Rider Waite Hierophant has this hand symbol, okay? And in the traditional Rider Waite, the Ten of Swords also has this hand symbol, okay? And the swords are actually very nicely placed along the spinal column, indicating symbolically that the character in the Ten of Swords has a, an awakening, a spiritual awakening. It's a Kundalini rising. Now, that is the original traditional meaning of the Ten of Swords. It is a an awakening, a dark night of the soul before an awakening which is kind of talking to me through this Ten of Swords as well, indicating that this Five of Pentacles, it was a difficult time, a dark night of the soul in our life at some point, okay? And the Ten of Swords is that awakening. We're rising up. It's the Phoenix rising energy where we're actually rising up from the ashes, okay? And we're starting to see things from a different perspective, 
And Seven of Pentacles is that light at the end of the tunnel where we're actually starting to invest in a, a completely different way, a different thought, a different um, reality around us. Because it's Pentacles again, okay? It's saying that, you know, maybe it's just been difficult times, okay? And we're awakening and now we're starting to invest in a new way of being, all right, let me know what that means, Taurus. It's a pretty deep message there for you. And strength, loyalty, and trust and belief is there for us, Taurus. So I'm interested to know what that means for you as well because we've got loyalty and strength, courage. It could have been that we've been very strong and courageous to allow this process, to allow ourselves to go through this surrender. Okay, that's another way of seeing the Ten of Swords, a surrender of the soul, of an awakening, to say, okay, enough is enough. I'm not going to do this anymore. Okay. I like that. Ace of Swords is perfect because now we've come to a, um, a an epiphany of something, okay? So it's a very nice little storyline here for you, Taurus. Ace of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. It's an epiphany. It's waking up after this dark night, realizing there is a better way, okay? And Ten of Wands, okay, so it's going back to the difficulty, but you can see that it's connected to the past with the Five of Pentacles. It's been really hard, and maybe it was a really difficult process for you to come to terms with actually having to go through this Ten of Swords, to the, through this surrender and acceptance that things need to change. Okay, Four of Cups is almost like I don't want to change. It's saying that because uh, Four of Cups is that rejection card. It's like I don't want, I've got enough on my plate right now. Um, there could be multiple areas of your life that you need to go through the Ten of Swords with um, where you're actually surrendering to spirit, you're surrendering to your guides and your angels and source. Um, through what has been not working out saying okay just just you change it okay to source to your angels to your guides saying okay if it hasn't been working out for me change needs to happen I can't keep going on in this um in this pattern Okay, in this in this routine that has been five of pentacles and ten of wands is like way too hard. Uh, doing it too hard, okay. And with ten of swords, it's like you may have been trying to not go through that process. Uh, Nine of Cups is really nice. It, this epiphany, this Ace of Swords and Seven of Pentacles is going to take you to a Nine of Cups. Uh, and I really like the way this is. This one is depicted because you can see the girl or the character is literally waiting for better days. And actually, you know, sometimes when I need to think personally, me, um, I actually go to the beach as well. Uh, and I just like to sit on the sand and watch the waves coming to me and surrendering to my guides and angels. Um, and so, you know, it, it is a nice way to cleanse our energy as well because of the water and the salt air. It's very refreshing. So it, I really like this card because of that, but also because it's got that refreshing, very welcome energy um that it shows like because she's just so welcoming of the change and i feel this is what you're going to be going through taurus it's a very welcome change that's coming towards you okay but it, yeah it's been challenging um on the way there it's been a bumpy ride i won't i won't deny it but you're getting there 
All right, let's see what else we've got. We've got Nine of Wands, okay? It's really interesting how these challenging cards are all connected to this initial Five of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. And Four of Cups, it, it was a process that you really were in denial about with Four of Cups. And Ten of Wands is like, I'm just going to keep doing this. And it's just too hard, but I'm just going to continue because it's just so hard that I just have to do it. Um but with nine of wands it's saying again like the ten of swords enough is enough i've just been through too much i can't keep going like this all right next up we have emperor excellent taking a stand all right so we're actually taking a stand we're saying no i'm going to take control of this i'm just not going to go through this nine of wands ten of wands and ten of swords and five of pentacles i'm just not going to do it anymore that might be also why four of cups is smack bang in the middle of your card it's saying i can't keep going through this i can't keep doing it what are you going through, Taurus? Comment below. Let me know. The Fool is a really nice card. I don't know if I should leave it at that or if I should keep going. But the Fool is really nice. It's saying that we're breaking free. Okay. Uh, you know, it's really interesting. I like the Doors, um, the band. And that song, Break On Through to the Other Side, just randomly stuck in my head, Break On Through to the Other Side from the Doors. Um, and that that just suddenly I started hearing that song when I got the fall. So I feel like for some of you, you're literally breaking on through to the other side um, of you know, this experience and this dark night is coming to an end. I really hope something like the Empress or the Star come out here. Okay, Ace of Wands, it's a good card. It's really saying that now we've got this new passion, this new desire, this new excitement, okay? I don't know if it's in the form of a person that's around you, maybe a fire sign, or it could very well be a new passion, a new excitement in your life. It's like a new vision, a new dream, a new exciting venture, okay? Ace of Swords is that new thought, that epiphany. Uh, this is a new way that I need to do things. And the Ace of Wands is is that excitement, that fire in your belly that when your heart starts racing, when you think of something. So, yeah, or someone. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles, another ace. you got three aces, which means that the universe is actually giving you, um, giving you, uh, I don't know, things, okay, because pentacles are a thing, uh, whether it's a car, a house, a job, money in the bank, you know, something that's 3D, uh, earthly coming towards you that's going to assist you, okay. Wands are that excitement, that fire in your belly, that that rush of, you know, adrenaline about something, okay? And Ace of Swords is that thought where your mind is suddenly, all of, all of a sudden, it's very clear and you can see exactly what you need to do in order to keep moving forward. And it's like, you know, it must be this super moon that just came and we're all just coming to this point where we're going to go through to a completely new um, experience in our life where things are just moving forward very, very nicely. It's like a reconfiguration of whatever was challenging for us and moving through to a new, new experience in the future, Taurus. Let me know how that resonates. And here we have our lucky numbers. I'll get three for you. How have you been going so far with my readings and the lucky numbers? Have you been guessing them? Um, I got a message, uh, a comment from somebody saying that they actually guessed it. And I'm really excited to see if you do and if it is your lucky number. What has been your number sequences lately, Taurus? I'm guessing this is a four. What do you guess this is? Comment below and let me know if you guess right it's a five interesting all right so we've got five and then i'll um narrow it down to its numerological value as well if it's double digits five and three is eight so we've got three as well 
and then which one next Taurus which one should I choose all right all right this one did I choose the one you wanted me to choose we've got eight so we've got eight and then we've got eight so eight and eight is 16 so we've got one six one plus six is seven lucky number is seven I think we had seven the other day too let me know is that your lucky number mine has been six and nine lately so and six is a uh, harmony and uh, this one was harmony as well. No, that's vehicle. This is harmony, true love harmony. Um, and harmony as well as um, nine, which means close to some kind of transition, some kind of ending. So that's really interesting. I'm waiting to see how that goes. Now, Let's have a look at what your Gypsy Oracle have and then I'll get some personalised messages for you. Frivolity and death, okay. Next we have old woman. Okay, so old woman with death and frivolity is not a bad not a bad little trio of cards because frivolity means it's not worth it i'm just feeling too tired i've been feeling like worn out nine of wands and five of pentacles kind of as one card okay death means that's over okay old woman is a very consistent and stubborn energy it's like um it's like saying i'm going to stay in this mindset and I'm not going to change my ways with frivolity. It's almost like saying uh, I'm not going to change from the difficulties and challenges. Okay. Uh, prison and feeling stuck in that. Taurus, I hope this improves. Journey. Okay. Someone coming towards you or you traveling somewhere. Or this could very well be progress forward, which is what we really need. Next up, we have thought. Okay, so you could be thinking of going somewhere or someone could be thinking of coming towards you or you might be thinking of someone from far away. Uh, journey also means that you could be thinking, Ace of Swords, about the progress, maybe Seven of Pentacles. Service, a new opportunity, which is kind of the Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity of something. Merchant negotiations, negotiable energy could also be work. And here's your fortune, Ace of Pentacles again. But fortune is more like the Ten of Pentacles. So you could be negotiating uh, money at work or there could be a bonus coming in for you because merchant is also a work card. An opportunity at work for maybe a raise and cheerfulness is a celebration so Taurus this looks really nice for you all right let's get some personalized messages and see what comes out this could be from your guides your angels your soulmate twin flame or a lover or just the universe there's lots of messages and they're all personalized let me know how they resonate with you and what they mean they even have descriptions of your lover or soulmate i really like these all right first up the love is flying above heaven right now Ooh, that's romantic listen to music it soothes your soul isn't that true I dream about you and wish you were with me. Oh, that's so sweet. Who is this, Taurus? Someone dreams about you and wishes you were with them. Is it someone from your past or someone around you now? You can hear your spirit guides clearly. That's nice. Sometimes I wonder. But yeah, you can. And I like this one though. I dream about you and wish you were with me. So next up we have, when I see you, the world shakes around me. That would be a twin flame because uh, twin flame connections are really powerful where the energy around you is palpable. Have you got that connection, Taurus, with anybody around you where 
it just like everything just shifts um, when you are around this person. Money will improve. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's crazy. This is exactly what this reading was. Money will improve after challenge. Isn't that so? Now, um, please don't give up on me. Oh, that's so beautiful. Please don't give up on me. And is there someone? No, there's nothing behind it. Taurus, let me know how this reading resonated with you. And Taurus, as always, I send you so much love. Peace and light. Bye for now.